Which of the following quantities are measured in whole numbers only? We have six different quantities that we are going to be thinking about whether we would only count these in whole numbers amounts or if we could count them in decimal amounts and have them make sense. Number one, tablets. If you have a tablet such as an iPad, how would you count tablets? Well, you can have one, two, three of them, but it wouldn't make any sense to have one and a half tablets half a tablet would not work, would not function properly as a tablet. And if it did work, then it would be considered a second tablet. So if you're counting something like computer tablets, then this is the quantity that we would count in whole numbers only because we cannot have a decimal or a part of a tablet and have it still be functional. Number two, distance. We can have one yard, two yard, three yards, but we can also have in between amounts as well, like one and a half yards would make sense. Other distances such as miles, we can always have decimal amount of miles. We can walk one and a half miles or three and a half miles. So distances are quantities that we can measure with decimals allowed. I'll give you a moment to complete three through six for the chart. Let's check your answers. Number three, buses. You can have one bus, two bus, three bus, but you would never have one and a half buses. Half a bus would not be very useful for going on a field trip. Time, you can have one minute, two minute, three minutes, but you can also have half of a minute or a couple of seconds, so decimals are allowed when talking about time. Money, you can have $1, $2, $3, but you can also have decimal values in between, such as $3.25. Decimals are allowed for the quantity of money. Movie tickets. You can have one movie ticket, two movie tickets, but if you had half a movie ticket, they probably wouldn't let you into the movie. You would need to have one full movie ticket for it to allow you to go into the movie as it's intended. So counting movie tickets would be a quantity that would be measured in whole numbers only. Students, you already know that some amounts don't make sense as decimals. In this lesson, we will use this knowledge to determine the domain type of a function.